because I was having anxiety about something else, so I instead thought about dragging you based on things that I experienced last night with you. Classic Libra. <laughs> hey guys. <laughs> Welcome to my YouTube channel. No, oh. no, this is actually my YouTube channel as a part of your series. Yes, this is my series uh -huh. called Dan does astrology on other people's yes. YouTube channels. I am a Libra sun. My Mercury is in Scorpio. Yes. <laughs> Scorpios are my favorite. Are they? Yeah, based on nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot that I you're so good at be, lying. I want to be a Scorpio. You want to be a Scorpio? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Wait, am I supposed to look here or over here like I'm other I'm sorry, YouTubers? have you never made... A, this is your series. Yes. My instinct is to look in here, but yeah, when I watch great. YouTube videos, everybody looks over here. They're all doing it wrong. Oh. What YouTube were you watching? You? Oh! <laughs> video recently trying astrology okay for the first time how did it taste mm, not great <laughs> wouldn't necessarily eat again okay unless I had like a five-star chef here to cook for me there we go welcome to my channel yes. <laughs> I made a video trying astrology mm -hmm. didn't go super great for me okay not really my thing the comment section is full of people saying you need to have Dan on your channel, how well would you say we know each other? <sighs> not very well. Not very well. Not well, no. So like, I think that's also gonna be interesting because we don't know each other very it's well. It's true, so I'm doing a lot of guessing. Yeah, I'm <laughs> Aries, Sun. Yes. Libra. Libra rising. rising. Yes. Leo, Moon. Leo moon. Yeah. Okay. I think Aries is the sign people are most confused about. Everyone's always like, you're not like an Aries, or oh my god, I thought you're an Aries. It's like the number one sign that people are confused about. I read about Aries and I'm like, none of that is me. It's hard because a lot of people think that astrology means like, here's your personality, but it's yeah. not really a personality reading. Oh, it's that's like, not what it is? <laughs> <laughs> it's more like, here are some traits. A trait of an Aries, for example, is they're very like 100 or nothing. Like you, you're good at stuff, but you literally won't even try it unless you know you're gonna be 100% good at it. And some people will say, Aries are lazy. And I'm like, no, Aries aren't necessarily lazy. They just don't wanna f with something unless they know they're gonna be good at it. Aries is also like a, it's like the number one crybaby sign. <laughs> a crybaby could be like a trait of somebody who cries a lot, but it's more of somebody who's like, <laughs> All that I've heard about Aries is that we're like the whole fire thing. Mm -hmm. you know, we're aggressive and confrontational and all, and I'm like, mm -hmm. I would say Lord. rather than confrontational, they're contradictory, oh. which could be you're fighting all the time, or it could just be that you're like, no, that's wrong. Like, the <laughs> like before someone finishes the sentence, you're yeah. like, no, actually. <laughs> we did play Paranoia last night though, and one, once I found out you were in Aries, I was like, hilarious. Oh, no. And it made the whole game way more fun. There was one point. <laughs> Stevie had asked you the question and you had answered it and you'd been sitting there for like 10 minutes or something, <laughs> 20 minutes, an hour. And I was like, Elena, it's your turn to ask your question. And you were like, no, it's not. I just answered. And I was like, I know, that's why it's your turn to ask the question. And literally, you're not gonna be like, oh yeah, you're right, my bad. You're just like, oh. <laughs> and then you go ask the question. I was like, Aries ass, <laughs> I'm not wrong a lot. So when I am, it's hard for me. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> With a Libra rising too, when people first meet you, they probably, I'm just gonna say this, uh -oh. and you're just gonna have to take it for what it is, okay. they probably think you're nicer than you are. <gasps> Don't look at me like that! That's <laughs> <laughs> so Uh oh, SpaghettiO. <laughs> not that you're not kind and loving, but nice is different from kind and loving. You know what I mean? No. <laughs> I don't. I think I'm all of those things. Always. No. <laughs> okay. You seem very easygoing and then people yeah. get to know you and they're like, oh, I guess we're doing her plan. Like. <laughs> Honestly, whatever you guys want to do, like I'm down, but I, but like, but, but if I you want to do best. my thing, it will be better. Yes. But only That's if also you want to do though. your thing. Libra and Aries are sister signs, so they're polar opposites. So Libra and Aries together makes one perfect person. Like we, all my oh faults my you have or whatever. Oh, can you tell me my faults? For me, decision making is difficult. For you, mm. changing your mind is difficult. <laughs> yes, 100% yes. <laughs> Dan, stop. Who read your birth chart originally? I feel like um, I'm someone on Fiverr. Fiverr? Guess what video me and Hannah are filming. Myers-Briggs. 
No, this is based on what you just said. Literally how difficult it has been for me to change my mind <gasps> from no a man. It's taken months. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The thing that a lot of the fire signs have in common is like you have one arrow, so you're just like, boom! Having two fire placements that are so strong. Mm -hmm. When you have like a plan that you made, you're like, great, I've got the plan, I already know it's the best because <laughs> I came up with it. And then someone's like, oh, but here's a similar plan that can make you five times more of the money. And you're like, I can find a way for this plan to make five times more of the money. Your like, plan's fine, but I'm gonna do my plan. It's kind of your plan, except I made like one little, like a twist on yes. it. I want you in here to confirm or deny some of this stuff, because you know me the best out of everybody in this room. You could just say, so far, Dan is 100% right. It's fine. It was the plan to have you come That in, is, yeah, that is <laughs> what she wanted. <laughs> oh, oh, she's you convinced. You convinced. Passive aggressiveness always works. <laughs> no. Yeah. No. Okay, no, I want to know my faults. Yeah, you're so me. funny. Well, I don't really believe that there are like faults. They're just fault. like yeah. <laughs> they're just like things that are maybe more difficult. For example, saying like it's really hard for you to change to a plan, even if it's been explained to you over and over why a different plan is better. <laughs> He's so sick of me talking about this change <laughs> that I'm making. What is the change? I'm desperate to know. I decided to not go back for my masters. Oh, this year. nice F school. Yeah. <laughs> That is the exact kind of thing an Aries would like never want to do, especially if you were on track. Like yeah, for like seven you had, years. Like, oh yeah. yeah, you had like however many credits left, and Aries would almost never just not just stop. Yeah, that's it's like killing me. Inside. Yeah, you keep saying fault, but that is a difficulty that you have to overcome, right? Right. Is being like, oh, I have to actually make the choice that is better for my humanity, mental health, emotional health, career, etc. Yeah. Instead of it the is thing I planned. All of those things, but like I can't <laughs> yeah. stop. A difficulty a Leo Moon might have is is sitting on their bad side? <laughs> Honestly, yes. So like if somebody comes to you with, hey, this thing that you did hurt me or whatever, mm -hmm. you kind of go to, okay, let's figure out why I did that rather than, mm -hmm. I'm sorry. <laughs> So, but also there's an I'm sorry in there. <laughs> Can it be both? Right, but saying to someone, I'm sorry, but this is why I did it, doesn't feel like you're actually genuinely <laughs> sorry, right? <laughs> I love it when people explain why they did it. Thank you. Right, I open know my the phone. <laughs> As an Aries, being like 100 or nothing is actually a really good thing. A thing that you might have to work on is it keeps you from taking risks because mm. the thing about taking risks is you literally cannot know if you're gonna be good at it or achieve whatever or blah, blah, blah before mm -hmm. you take the risk. You mm -hmm. have to take it knowing you could possibly fail. This is the, the decision I'm making? Uh -huh. That's the problem. Yeah, I'm it's sure like... it's every decision you're making in your whole life. <laughs> yeah, but so that would be a thing that you would have to work on or a fault for an Aries. But also that's a strength because you do a lot of things that you're really good at. Pisces Mercury is great because a lot of people feel really comfortable talking to you. Yeah. Yeah, people feel really comfortable right, talking Kristen? to you. Right, <laughs> And it also means a lot of your relationships are pretty joyful. When you see someone, you're not like, okay, let me sit down and talk about all the shit going wrong. Mm -hmm. You're like, let's Get, get together, shoot mm -hmm. the shit, talk about our dreams. Ultimately, you want to get joy out of communication. Talking about people's dreams is my favorite conversation. Yes, definitely. That's that's Pisces vibes for sure. My favorite thing in the world is having someone be like, hmm, I love this thing and I want to make it a business. Mm -hmm. And me being like, okay, how? <laughs> Let's do it. Oh, your Venus is also, also in Aries. Aries. That was one it. where I was reading the thing on the chart. On your fiber chart? <laughs> yes. And it really nailed it. Yeah. I feel like Aries Venus is a, a very like, very bisexual Venus mm. placement. The thing that Aries and Pisces have in common is being like, go with the flow. Like late 60s, like drug culture almost. <laughs> <laughs> Where people are like, we're partying, we're talking about our dreams, we're f***ing, we're like having the time of our lives. Mm -hmm. Like that's what Aries Venus reminds me of, but I don't okay. know what time. We can it. just leave it at that. Okay. <laughs> and there. that's all we'll say about that. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Here's one memory that I have and I can't remember if this was you or not, but it is you in my mind. Was it <laughs> that you counts. and I think Hannah and maybe Stevie went to Denny's at VidCon? Oh, probably. Okay, I think this- I love Denny's. <laughs> you were like talking about getting turned around with directions a lot. Oh my God, it's and then, so bad. You were like, I'm so bad at this direction and this direction and this direction, which is why I originally was like, why are you a Taurus? You had talked about not being good with directions over and over and over. And you were like, <laughs> Denny's is down there that way. And I was like, oh, why don't we look at a map? And you were like, no. <laughs> Denny's is right there. And I was like, well, you you've you been talking about being bad and you were like, no. I was like, is this you saying you know where something is and then we're gonna go to the wrong place? And you were like, no, I know where this is. And I was like, I better not get out my phone because I'm like gonna get in trouble. So I just followed you. But I was like, there? yeah. 
what did I say about being white? <laughs> but also, you just gave me all these speeches about how you're like, yeah. that's where it is, and then you walk toward, and, and it's, it's not I'm there. in the corner. Uh -huh. Said that you think that you know where you're going, and you'll walk somewhere totally different. Right, but then sometimes I'm like really sure. <laughs> Let's just say we're surprised that she got you to Denny's, okay? <laughs> If it was going to be anywhere that I would know how to get, it would be, it would be Denny's. <laughs> what about being vegan? What about being vegan? Yeah. <laughs> Where does my birth chart predict that? <laughs> are you vegan because you're like, I love the animals? Or are you vegan because you learned a lot of research and you know mm -hmm. that that's the best way yeah, to... Yeah, that's how it started. Yeah. And then when I was already in it, I was like, oh, f the animals. <laughs> yeah. Oh, right, right, right. Kind of a kryptonite for an Aries is for them to learn something and then they're like, well, now I know. It's not even like you're like, oh, my heart bleeds, I must, you know, whatever. You're just like, now I know. I yeah, literally no. <laughs> cannot do that anymore. It's the same like 100 to 100 or zero thing. Yeah. You're like, I either know it or I don't. Yeah. That's probably why this master's would be so confusing yeah. to you because you're like, okay, but then I won't be finished. Yes. <laughs> and also like I started. You just have to, you just have to know that whatever it is that you're going to do instead of this master's or with the time that you have, mm -hmm. whatever that is, you're also going to be 100 at that. You can be mm -hmm. like, okay, I've set that aside. Now, Here's my next 100. That's like how I've made myself feel better. Is I've made a list of what up because I like list. to dedicate my years yes. to things. Where I'm how like, many lists do you have? Oh, this is why I have a bullet journal. Okay, because great. Because I yes. used to have yes. piles of notebooks yep. and it was a mess. Lists no. make sense for yeah. both the Aries and the Libra because Aries, you're like I need to know. Libra rising, you like that kind of with your decision making because oh. Libras are very indecisive. But the reason they're indecisive mm -hmm. is because both things make a lot of sense. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, this is another problem that I have. If I disagree with somebody, mm -hmm. I like can't keep my mouth shut. Like, oh, I yeah. can't not tell them. Yes. But then I walk away and I feel anxious and bad because I can always see their side. Right. Aries can't, you, you're never gonna be able to keep your mouth shut. But it There's would just be fire. so much easier. It would not be. It would drive you up the wall. You would much rather be like, oh, I'm so stressed because maybe I hurt their feelings or whatever. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I love when I like just catch the nodding. <laughs> do you mean to predict your future? Can you do that? No. <laughs> okay. If you just f***ing go with the flow, which is gonna be hard for you. But if you go with the go flow, with the what? <laughs> never heard of her. If you can tap into your Libra rising a little bit, <laughs> you end up just stepping way more into the person that you are supposed to be. Because ultimately, that makes me feel like I can't breathe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, literally. <laughs> Holding on to like, I'm only gonna do this this one way will mm -hmm. hold you back forever. So if you can go with the flow a little bit, mm -hmm. then you essentially prove to yourself or whatever, okay, cool, I can do it. And then once you hit like 29, 30, you step into the new version of yourself. Ooh. Mm hmm Astrology with Dan, therapy, therapology mm -hmm. with Dan. <laughs> That's the series you have on other people's channels. Yes, my series on other people's channels. You can find it on the one tweet thread I have. Thank you so much for coming on the channel. Absolutely, thank you for having me. Sorry I didn't respond to your DM. Well, that's something we could go through. <laughs> <laughs> I DM'd Dan and he never answered me. No, no. I wanted you to be on my channel. Mm -hmm. I've been begging you to be my manager for yeah. like a year. Yeah. <laughs> And at what point do I just have to walk away? I don't know, Aries. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> this is my plan. Yeah. And, and you're, you're a part like, of it whether you want to be or I not. have a plan and you're going to have to stick to it. Look, well, where my, am I right now? That's my new Twitter bio. Where am I right now? I like that Twitter bio. I have a plan and you're and gonna, you're have, gonna to have to stick, stick to it. Before we end the video, I did want to let you all know that the kissing tees bam, 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 are going to be back up in my store for a limited time for the holiday season. You can find them at elenajoy.store or by clicking the link in the description. If you want to get your shirts in time for the holidays, you have to order by December 2nd just to make sure there's enough shipping time and everything. So that's just over two weeks from today. And other than that, a super huge thank you as always to my VIP patrons, my very important producers. I'm going to be sending out personalized holiday cards to every single one of my patrons in December. So you also have just a couple of weeks left to sign up for that. And yes, every single tier is eligible to get a holiday card. It doesn't matter if you're in the $1 tier, the $10 tier, the $40 tier, it doesn't matter. You can think of it like those that are in the higher tiers are helping fund the cards for those in the lower tiers. It's great. It's a community effort. <laughs> but that's all my housekeeping for today. The kissing teas are back for a limited time, elenajoy.store. And if you've been thinking about joining the Patreon, now is a good time to do it because you will get a personalized holiday card in the mail. 
from yours truly. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Do you have anything you want to plug? Well, my Instagram and my Twitter are both Dan Owens Management, and my TikTok is Boy God King. <laughs> It'll all be linked in the description if you want to check any of that out. I love you guys very much, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. Yay! What's your Mercury? I don't know. You're right. I have. Oh, that's not my phone. This is my phone. Looks nothing like my phone. No, it doesn't. Don't know why I would that's mistake that for my white phone. and blue, and this is all black. <laughs>